Matthew? Yeah. Ah, hello. Can I come in? Hello, Dad. I got you those colours you wanted. Oh, thanks, Dad. You can't get these in Heinmere. Great. What's this? Nothing much. Just doodling, really. Not bad for a doodle. Where is it? Don't know. Just sort of make it up as I go along. It's like something out of an American movie. I suspect that's where I got it from. Yeah. Sydney Harbour. Moscow? I don't know. Have you been reading travel brochures? No. Just felt like drawing them. What are these? Oh, those. They're the works of a windmill. Fascinating. Do you know what they all do? Yes. I think so. <clears throat> See, the sails turn this, and then you have a cogwheel, which links it to this central shaft here. See? Mm -hmm. Then when that rotates, it drives these cogs, which turn the stones. The corn goes in here, and then down the chute, between the stones, and gets ground down into flour. Very good. Something you've been doing at school? Not really, no. Oh, by the way, Miss Soames sent off my pictures for the National School's Art Contest today. Really? What are they? Some of my windmill pictures. They're not too bad, I think. I'd like to have seen them before they went. Against the rules. You're not allowed to take your pictures out of school. I suppose it's in case anyone tries to cheat. Yeah, I suppose so. Is she hoping you'll get another prize this year? <laughs> she is. I don't think I've got much chance, do you? Oh, I don't know. You've been doing some very good work just lately. Yes, but... It's not the same as it was before. No. Oh. I wonder where Chucky is now. Perhaps it's just as well we don't know. All the same. Still miss her. Never mind. Holidays soon. Yes. You're quite sure it's all right, Francis, is he? Yeah, of course it is. Didn't let me tell you. She had a long chat with her on the phone last night. Get all that? Uh, yes, sir. The boy is going to stay at his aunt's while his parents are abroad. His father is going to Hong Kong on business. And his wife is going with him for a holiday. Right. Thank you. Sit down. Uh, that means you'll be standing down the surveillance operation. No. It means we want him watched with extra special care. But surely if he's only going to stay in the country with some dotty old aunt, well, Sir William feels, and I agree, that the new situation may trigger off a renewal. I understand. Thank you. Yes? Negative. Oh, Luke, you will inform me immediately if anything of particular or unusual interest occurs. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. And all your own work, too. Gina, I could have sworn I saw the sales move just then. <laughs> Dad! <laughs> no, it does. It looks very real. I suppose this is why you've been so interested in windmills lately. I suppose so, yes. Whose idea was it in the first place? Did Miss Soames suggest it? No. Just sort of came into my head. Are there still such things as windmills, Mummy? Yes, of course, darling. But I don't think there's too many of them working there now. 
Matthew's quite famous, isn't he? Quite famous, darling, yes. So go and look at some of the other pictures, yes. shall we? Hello, David. What are you doing here? Keeping watch on Matthew's progress. I'm interested in how he's getting on, naturally. Naturally. And are you still reporting to Sir William Thorpe? Reporting? What do you mean? Oh, come on, Roy. I know all about it. You don't have to play games with yeah, me. Just a minute. What is all this? I really don't know what you're talking about. But what am I supposed to have done? Why do you refuse to speak to me every time I try to call you? I've got to go. Yeah, just a minute. I think you owe me some sort of explanation. Is it something to do with Matthew going missing that time? Going missing? You mean when you and your friend Thorpe had him kidnapped? What? Look, um, you better tell me what really happened. Oh, come on. Well, we can't talk here, obviously. No. Well, when can we meet? I'm going abroad in a couple of days. I see. Well, can't you spare me just a few minutes? How about tomorrow, before you go home? Look, David. Whatever happened to Matthew last year, I know nothing about it. Please. Well, you better call my office in the morning. What does he have to say for himself? He claimed he had nothing to do with what happened last year. And you believed him? Something awful. It was in America. California, I think. Sounds to me as though you've been watching too much television. No, it wasn't like television. I mean, I was actually seeing things happen. I saw it was somebody else. I wasn't involved, but... There was this boy on a skateboard. And he went across this road. Right in front of a big truck. Things, dreams. Yes. You've been getting a lot of bad dreams just lately. Not bad dreams, no. Well, strange dreams then. Sort of. Only they're not like proper dreams. More like pictures in my mind. And when you're awake as well? Yes. More often when I'm awake, really. Like pictures of windmills. And New York streets. And Moscow and Sydney Harbour. All those places? Yes, I suppose so. Matthew, is there anything you think you ought to tell me? No, Dad. That's all there is. You haven't heard anything from Chucky, have you? No. It's all right, Dad. This is nothing like when Chucky was here. Honestly. It's just some pictures, that's all. I expect I've been watching too much television, like you said. There we are. Thank you. Well, thank you for meeting me. I haven't got long, I'm afraid. My train leaves at 80 minutes past, and I have to be home early. There's a lot to do. Yes, yes, of course. You're going to the Far East, you said? That's right. On business? And holiday combined. Nice. How's Matthew these days? Don't you know? No. How should I? That's fine, thanks. I was very impressed with his drawing. It's extremely good. Yes, he's come along well since he decided to concentrate on art. I noticed the style's rather different from last year's. Of course. There's no chalky involved this time. Yes. 
I was going to ask you about that. I thought you'd know. She went away immediately after the kidnapping. Kidnapping? David, Look, I really don't Roy, understand. I know all about it. It was organized by your friend, Sir William Thorpe. David, the only thing I know is that Matthew went missing. After that, you refused to talk to me, if you remember. Yes, I remember. Matthew was tricked into getting into a car near his school and whisked away to some clinic where they pumped him full of drugs to make him talk. About Chucky? Yes. Fortunately, Chucky hadn't got very far with his tuition, so there wasn't all that much he could tell them. If he'd have been able to give them the information they wanted. What information? You must know that, at no. least. <clears throat> Chucky's intention was to guide us towards the discovery of a source of infinite energy and how to harness it. Well, that's quite something. Did Matthew tell you this? No, Matthew didn't really know what happened. He seems to have been under hypnosis most of the time. Then how do you know? Chucky told me. What? She spoke to me. I know it's difficult to believe. Well, how? Through Matthew at first and then directly. Did she tell you about Thor? Oh, right. I don't know why I'm Please, telling you all don't this. don't go yet. This is the first I've heard of this, I promise you. I'd like to believe you. Please. Why do you think Thor wanted to kidnap Matthew? Chalky said he's greedy. For power, as well as for money. When he realized at that first session in the consulting room that what Matthew was saying was genuine. David. I am not one of Thorpe's friends, I give you my word. It doesn't matter anymore. Chucky's gone. It's all over. You didn't tell anyone else? No, I couldn't prove anything. Why do you think they did it? I've told you to find out exactly what he knew. And if need be, to keep him quiet. You told me yourself Thorpe's involved with some pretty influential people. People with a big stake in the energy industries. Oil, gas, nuclear power, you name it. Chucky really did show us how to get limitless energy free. What do you think would happen to the world economy? All their enormous companies would be worthless. There are literally billions of pounds involved. Men have fought wars for less. Do you really think they'd let the life of one small boy stand in their way? A lot then. Looks like it. Come on. I'm Paul. That's the girl. That's Matthew. Well, he was here a minute ago. He went back inside. Matthew! It's all right, love. I'll get in. Come on. You and I, young lady, are going to have a big glass of orange squash after Daddy's gone, yes? Yes. There you are. What are you after? Do you think it's wise to take that? If the house was burgled when there's no one here and it got okay, stolen. Okay, but keep it well tucked away out of sight of Aunt Sissy's. Don't want anybody asking all good questions, do we? Come on, then let's go. Oh, at last! What have you forgotten this time? Nothing, Mum. It's all right now. Bye bye, darling. Bye. Now you have a lovely time with Aunt Sissy. I will. You have a nice time in Hong Kong and everywhere. Mm. <laughs> All right. See you tonight. Mm. Drive carefully. Give Sissy my love. Bye, Paul. Bye, Daddy. Bye bye, darling. Have a lovely trip. Bye bye. Enjoy your sandwiches. Come on, let's go and get you packed, shall we? Yes. Off we go. Carsick, do you? Not carsick, no. 
My head feels a bit funny. I'll look out for somewhere to stop. I hope you're not going to get too bored at Aunt Sissy's. Bored? No, I won't be bored. Promise you, Dad. Only she hasn't got any children, of course, and I don't think there are many young people living around there. Doesn't matter. I'm Aunt Sissy's studio. Could have stayed with Colin, you know. Yes, I know. To think that Mr and Mrs Froome will have quite enough on their hands looking after Polly, don't you? <laughs> you could be right at that. Anyway. Oh, Sissy's promised to teach me all about pottery. I'm going to do lots of modelling in clay. It's great doing three-dimensional work. Good. I've done it before, you know. How are you feeling now? Headache better? I've told you before, Dad. I not like headaches. They go as quickly as they come sometimes. Sometimes? You've been getting many of them. Why haven't you said anything? What are they like, then? It doesn't hurt. It's more a sensation. A sort of sound thing. Like a wave or something. It's not in the least painful. I better get Aunt Sissy's doctor to take a look at you. No! Honestly, Dad. It's not that bad. Truly. I might have told you. I don't know why you didn't. I didn't want to worry you. You won't tell Mum, will you? Matthew, Please. I can't... Please. Promise. It might spoil our holiday. All right, just this once. But don't ever keep anything like this to yourself again, do you hear? And when we get back from Hong Kong, we'll, we'll have a chat with Dr. Aker, anyhow. Oh. Must I? Yes, you must. Answers will be wondering where we are. You're not too grand to give your old auntie a kiss, are you? No. Is that all your stuff in the back? Mary didn't come with you. No, she's getting Polly off to the neighbours. How marvellous for you both, all the way to the mysterious Orient, eh? I wish I could get someone to pay for me to go. I'd love to visit some of those wonderful Japanese potters. Goodness, is that a rabbit in there? What's his name? Hopti. Isn't he sweet? I bet he hates travelling in the back of a stuffy old car. You must see to him before we do anything else. Isn't that right, Hoppity? Oh, I'm going to love having him. Do you let him hop about the house? Where shall we put him? Oh, round the back, through the little gate. It's all right, Dad. I'll take him. Are you sure you can manage on your own? Of course I can. Well, that's telling me. You'll find the garden around the back. He'll tell you where to put it. There you are, Hopti. You'll be all right there. I see if Auntie Sissy's got a carrot or some lettuce for you. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, what's up, Doc? <laughs> it's for the rabbit. Thanks. You must be Matthew. Your aunt's told me a lot about you. Did she? Who are you? My name's Luke. And I'm your aunt's new gardener. Of course the boy's got talent. It's in the family. Mary's, of course. Not your boring old lot. 
There's always been an artistic streak in the Bosworths, you know. Yes, I know. The wonder of it is, it took so long for it to come out. I can't think why, can you? But no. Uh... I mean, a year or two ago, he didn't seem to have much ability at all. And then when I saw what he's been doing in the last 12 months, I could hardly believe it. If he takes to potting half as quickly, we'll make a proper Bernard Leach of him before he goes home. I wouldn't be at all surprised. Tell Mary not to worry. I'll make sure he doesn't get into any scrapes. OK, uh, there is just one thing while he's not here. What's that? He says he's been getting a few headaches just lately. Oh, bad ones. No, 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 I don't think so. But, uh, well, you might keep an eye on him just in case. Don't worry. If there does seem to be anything wrong, I'll whip him along to my doctor. He's very good. OK, thanks, sis. Hello, Matthew. Yeah. Everything all right? Scone? The book says he'll help me build a run for hop tea in the garden. It says we're going to have to make it good and strong because there are a lot of foxes in these parts. And badgers. And you'll have to watch out for stoats and weasels, too. Mm, that's what Luke says. Who's Luke? He's my new gardener come handyman. What happened to old Joby? Daft old fool got himself knocked off his bike last week. Hit and run job while he was riding home. Oh, dear. Is he badly hurt? Broken arm and a leg. He'll be out of action for weeks. I don't know what I'd have done if Luke hadn't come along. You were lucky. I certainly was. He's a nice young man. He's up at Oxford. I can't remember which college. And he wanted something to see him through the long vac. So it all fitted perfectly. And he'll be company for Matthew while he's here. Good boy. Let me know if it gives you any trouble. Have a lovely time. Bye, Thanks for the tea. Have a nice time. I will, don't worry. Send us a postcard. Love you, Mum. And lots of hot gold soap. Bye. 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 Oh, we're going to have such a good time while you're here. When can I start potting? Oh, tomorrow morning, all right? Well, there really isn't time to do anything tonight. And anyway, I want to look through your portfolio. You did bring your pictures, didn't you? Yes. Good. Tell you what, why don't you go and explore for an hour, and I'll start getting the supper ready. <laughs>